Hey guys, just doing one of these after the other, but they'll be uploaded on different dates. So this one is the Book of Mac in the Leopard Skin book. And at the $1.99 price tag, I think somebody vandalized it and stole and put the dollar there because the 99 cents would be too much for this feature. So these should be all Macs in this book. Part of the truck collection I'm looking after, or photo collection. Brand new, 30, 25 years ago. Wait for the rigging. The square nose Mac, I think those were the seven, the seven series, seven hundreds. Longer hoods, V8s, 500 horse V8s. Or 600 or 686, whatever they are called. So 1998, 97. Those were not an attractive model. There was a couple around here. Because they kept the cab the same but changed the hood. It's like John Deere with their 690 excavator there just couldn't let go of some of it and trying to upgrade it by changing some of it to new stuff and sometimes they almost got to scrap everything and start from new. It's sort of half old, half new. I got to go to the Mac dealership a lot because we had a couple, or my dad did when I was a kid. The F700, the old Haymac, the cab over, 1964. And then we had the 1971 or two R600 Mac. So the dealership we dealt with was in Langley on the bypass. It's called Mainland Mac. And if you're old enough or local enough from, I don't live around there anymore, but next to Mainland Mac was Ferguson Supply. And Ferguson Supply was the Terex dealer. So while we're over at Mainland Mac, you get to see big Terex 7281s and stuff get loaded and moved around the yard there a little bit now and then. So that's pretty. Vancouver Island name. Oh, those had a name. Are they called an LRSW, I think? They're supposed to be really tough trucks. Not the prettiest, Max. Those are the D DMs series. The 
I'm just guess. I think the DM meant dump truck or mixer, but could be way off on that. Cask Brothers, that's where I keep saying our old Mac R600 came from. They had a huge fleet of them. That'd be at the truck loggers convention in the Pan Pacific in Vancouver. Went to lots of those. Now that's odd because that says Bell Construction, which is a local name. But that does not look like a local truck. That's an oddball. Oh, there we go, a little bit mixer. be Vancouver Island. I can just make that logo out on the door and it's Chew Excavating, which has been around probably 50 years or more. I get my age in life, they're just about being able to say that about me now too. That's a cool color, a limey green. Kawasaki KX125 green. Or high impact Mopar color from early 70s. And there's, that's a kind of, boy, that looks like a second gen of those F700s. That, no, that's a bit more modern than the one my dad had from the 60s. They weren't pretty by any means. Offset cab. And be a log and road building truck from Vancouver Island. That'd be a farmer one from the flatlands somewhere. Or grain or potatoes or whatever they haul. And Mack trucks certainly did come in the color red. The interiors, most of them were green way back.
Oh, I know the owner of that one. Toured all those. I probably have that on one of my videos. That looks like the one that sat up in Campbell River. I'm sure it is. And that one as well. I saw that like 10 years ago. Or more. Yeah, about 10 years ago. Still got a ways to go. Just, I don't know. Bear with me. Everybody knows I'm not into long videos. But I don't like to waste anyone's time. I think I'll just roll with it here. This is going to be like stupid long, but I'll speed it up. Mac truck truck ugly Mac truck that one's interesting that's all about. That's sharp. Small cat grader, probably the 140. That's whole different generation. That's that's got a clean, fresh look. I'm not the world's biggest fan of how many wheels can you fit under a wood wagon, under a logging truck. I think the five axles are a really classy looking setup, but 
apparently no money in that. I think it would be better if everything was hauled on five axles. You'd probably have 20% more truckers out there and people that had opportunity. Mind you, probably have 20% more price added onto wood products because they hauled 20, 30% less load on every, on every uh, haul. Oh, we made it to the back page. All right, the back of the max.